This video will cover the Your Cause CSR Connect My Giving Page contents. We're going to start under Give, select My Giving. At the top of the page, you'll see some optional features. This includes the My Giving message banner. This is customizable per site. The next is some stranded funds automation instructions. This site has stranded funds automation turned on. All sites will include the My Giving dashboard. The dashboard includes the amount donated year to date. The date is defined by community settings. It could be a calendar year or it could be a fiscal year. Next, we're going to see Scheduled Process. If you need additional information, you can click on the little I icon. These are payroll donations in the event that your giving program offers payroll. Next, again, if applicable uh, or matches, we've got the matches pending for the rest of the year. Again, you can see um, by clicking on the icon some additional information regarding the contents of this particular section. Next, we'll cover the three tabs, Donation Activity, Match Programs, where applicable, and the Donation History if you're a client that's been with us for more than a year. The first section is going to involve Scheduled, and these are payroll donations. You'll see some additional information about each donation, the creation date, the charity name, the type of donation, the amount of donation in the currency as it's sent on the HR file, then you'll see the status awaiting deduction. These deductions have not started yet. If there is a match program, the next section will show you whether or not a match has been claimed and the amount of the match that was claimed. If the match was not claimed, you have the option to apply for it now. There are some additional actions. This is related to a year round payroll to either edit or cancel the de donation. This may or may not be present during, for a campaign, during campaign there may be edit opportunities. After a campaign there may not be edit opportunities. These are the other types of donations. You can see how many have been made and the total dollar value for the amount donated so far this year. Again, you see similar information to the information above, including the specific type of donation and the statuses of the donations. Processing means that it has been recorded in the system and it is available for invoicing. Once an invoice has been funded, it moves to in transit. That means the funds are on the way to the organization. Once the organization receives the funds, either via check or direct deposit, the donation is marked complete. Next, again, if you have matches, you can see whether or not they've been claimed. And for credit card donations, there's a small window of time when you can make edits to a credit card donation. So those are your options there. We'll return now to the next. We'll go to Match Programs. Again, this is where applicable if your program offers matches. This is more of a visual demonstration, but you can see the match program name and the total match cap, what programs are attached to this specific match cap. Then there is a bit of a visual representation as you make progress towards using the match cap. There are specific items within the match cap. That sh this shows that there are two matches pending and that there are six unclaimed opportunities. So far we've approved nothing, um, and then we've got some pending approval and then the remaining balance of the match cap. Next we'll go to the donation history. Again, if you've been a client for more than one year, this will be available. It will show you what year you're viewing on this particular page, as well as information very similar to what you saw on the other pages. You'll notice that that offline donation has an option to edit it. That is because it is an offline donation and we don't process offline donations. They were made directly to the charity. The other option here is to export a summary. You can select your year and it will bring up a report of the donor 
transactions. It will not include matches because those are client funds. Then you will also see some additional information to define the specific column contents, some tax information, and then a continuation of the transactions for the year. This concludes our overview of the My Giving page. Thank you.